I don't know how I'm going to make it across the country. My hand hurts so much, my hand. So we phoned every taxi um, company and like even Uber that we could in Birmingham and none of them, none of them, said they could take my wheelchair. I'm off to Birmingham. Here we go. First I'm gonna get to Durham. Um, luckily, Bob has kindly offered to drop me at the bus station. So I, once I get to the bus station, I've then got to get the bus to Durham. Then I've got to get up the big hill with that massive case. I did it last time, so I'm sure I can do it again. I just hope people don't like laugh at me this time because yeah, that wasn't nice. And it really upset me. But here we go. Um, I'm going to see my family today. I'm gonna to see my mum and I'm also seeing my brother and his girlfriend. We're going out for dinner later in Birmingham, so I'm excited. And then tomorrow I'm going to Nadex at the NEC and the Thursday as well. And then Friday I'm going to London for something extra special, so stay tuned. Um, I don't know if it will all be in this vlog, just because, uh, yeah, that's a lot. But remember to subscribe, press the little notification bell. You're in for a treat, <laughs> and so am I because I don't know how I'm gonna make it across the country with my case. So this is me sat on the bus and as you can see it's really really awkward because you just face everyone when you're in a wheelchair and yeah it was really busy that day so everyone was just staring at me. I think it's for safety in case they crash but it was so awkward. Right I'm off the bus now and I'm heading up the hill with my suitcase to Durham train station and yeah, so far I've had a bit of an issue because the footpath was closed so I had to cross the road which was really difficult um, because I couldn't see around the like vans that they had for the um, maintenance of the footpath and then I had to find a drop curb so that I could actually go up the hill <laughs> and it's it's stressful, it's stressful and, oh, but a kind lady did ask if she could help earlier which was lovely of her um, and I, I said, oh, it would be all right, because at that moment I was all right. Uh, and she was like, okay, which is lovely, because like, I hate it when people offer and then you say no, and then they still help. Um, I love it when people just like offer and then just accept whether you say yes or no. But yeah, anyway, now watch me go up this hill because it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> so much my hand it's so hard to like control the suitcase because the pavements are so uneven um, that the wheels just keep getting stuck and then I have to lift it up and it's my suitcase is really heavy right I'm here just like literally they need to sort their curbs out they need to sort their curbs out because I just really struggled to get up and down them I almost tipped over but a kind man, he, he came over and he said, are you okay? Which was lovely. Uh, but there were so many people that just like stare and you can tell that they kind of want to ask if, if they can help, but they don't. Or there was like one person also that laughed, which, yeah. You know, laughing at someone that can't get up a curb, like really, like so mature, not. Um, anyway, I'm about to record a video, so. So I made it on the train, just so you know, like, this is like where you yeah. sit in a wheelchair. Um, there's like hardly any room, so I have to sit diagonally. Because it's made for like a standard wheelchair, not a motor, like, um, motor powered wheelchair. But, um, oh my gosh, I love, I love the man that works at our <coughs> station. Like, it's, I always have the same man, I swear. He always works out whenever I'm there. But, um, he's like the man that helps me get on the train. And he's like, so lovely. He even gave me these little badges. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's yeah, he's amazing. He's amazing. And he said like if what happened last time when I came out, people like were laughing and couldn't get the club. He said just tell him and he'll help me get up and he'll 
walk me there. Like, so lovely. Like, he's so busy, but he's just so, so friendly. Anyway, I'm on my way now. Um, I think Birmingham is the last stop, so I should be alright. I won't miss my stop. Just hopefully they get me off when I get there. Oh my gosh, so I thought I was gonna get left on the train because like no one came and like loads of people were coming on the train like it was gonna like go somewhere else and I was like oh my gosh, oh my gosh and then luckily someone came just as the doors were about to close they um, were looking on for me on the wrong part of the train that was why they were looking for me at the back of the train but I was at the front so yeah, now I've got to find my mum um, and I've got to navigate those like little gates that you've got to go through uh, so maybe I should get it on my phone first actually I have no idea where my mum is, like, New Street Station is massive. I'm gonna phone her. Here it goes. Mum, where are you? I'm so lost. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Where are you? I see a Starbucks and I see a red zone. And I see. Do I have to go through a gate? Yeah, you have to come out. I've already come out of one. Do I have to come out again? Yeah, so you get on the. No, red zone, red zone says platforms 1B to 12B and 4C. I am out. I'm in the middle of somewhere. No, I came to the only exit. Where, show me around you. Show me, show me, show me around you. Keep showing me. Oh, okay. Mum, I see where you are. You're like literally over from me. Okay, bye. I think if I'm right, she's literally just over here. Let me see. There she is. Literally, she was she was like in front of me the whole time. Hi, Mum. Well, it's a long time. <laughs> you made it, <laughs> my madre. <laughs> Right, now let's go find the hotel and leave our bags and then go shopping. We've arrived after like some severe difficulty because the taxi driver that we tried to get in to first said, no, sorry, don't take no wheelchairs. wheelchairs. I was exempt. like, I was like, why? He was like, I'm exempt because I have a bad back. I, I survived cancer. Yeah. And then, which is, which is fine, like credit to him as he did. But I was like, I have a power chair, like you don't need to push it. And he was like, I'm just exempt from all wheelchairs. <laughs> so then we went to the next one and he was like, he probably just lovely. said that. Nice man. Yeah, um, and then we got here. So let's go and have a look at our apartment. We're staying at Stay City Apartments in, um, in Birmingham. Oh, it's nice. I fit. That's good. Oh, mum, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. It's got a little kitchenette, and then it's got a little table we can eat some food at, and then there's our bed, and there's me. It smells funny, and I've just decided, I think it's been freshly painted, because yeah. it smells of paint in here. Paint outside. Which is bad, because like, my wheelchair crashes into things, and then it makes things not nice anymore, <laughs> so. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. Now to look at the bathroom. Where's the light switch? Oh. <laughs> where, where is it? Is it in here? <laughs> is it automatic? Hello? <laughs> I miss it. Uh oh, guys. Mum, you gotta pee in the dark. Oh. Yay! <laughs> okay, yeah. And it's got these little things, which is good. The little bars. Oh. Yeah, okay. No. I can't do it. Okay. Well, it was good, but it doesn't actually work. I think it's just really rusted, Mum. Look. Mm. Mum, it doesn't matter. 
Okay. Well, I was going to say it's good because it's got those, but they don't actually work. They've got their pull cord, which is good. Um, yeah, that one works. The toilet one works. Anyway, we're going to like leave our stuff and then we're going to go and get some shopping done because I need to get an outfit for something. But yeah, you'll see what I'm getting it for, but in maybe this video or the next. So I can't talk long because of copyright, but we're shopping. I found some outfits, brilliant. I found some makeup that I needed. I also got my, um, yeah, I got everything. So, oh, success. Guys, so we found every taxi um, company and like even Uber that we could in Birmingham and none of them, none of them, so they could take my wheelchair. Um, which is really surprising for like a big city. Uh, so I'm having to go in the rain. It's a, a 10 minute walk, it says. So it should be like an eight minute roll. Um, but I didn't want my mum to have to walk that far. So I put her in a taxi and now I'm having to get there. But it turns out, this is why. I did Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award. And honestly, I don't know how I got it because I, suck at reading maps. Even when we did the Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award, we had to get saved from a danger zone on the map because we accidentally went into a military shooting thing. Like, we we climbed a fence thinking that was the fence we meant to climb, but uh, turns out, n no, it wasn't. So, um, yeah, I still haven't learned since then. I'm still really bad at maps. I never know which direction to go in. Like, it shows the arrow, but I don't know which way the arrow is pointing. Like, it keeps moving, and I, I can't figure it out. I just don't understand it. No, and, and now it's, like, not even on the map. Recenter. No, cancel. Who knows? Who knows? Right, I'm just going to keep driving and hope for the best. Um, I am very late. But, yeah, we went to town, you see, and then we wanted to get a taxi back from town, but we couldn't find any taxis. There's black cabs around, which fit my wheelchair, but there's hardly any today. And the queues are massive. So we just decided to walk back from town and it killed my mum's knee and hip. She thinks that she has Ellis Danlos syndrome as well and she's just had a knee replacement, but it looks like she's gonna have to have a hip replacement as well soon because her hip's going. So yeah, she's not doing well at all. Um, I said to her she should try out some of the wheelchairs at Nadex tomorrow. But anyway, I'm off, we're off for dinner with my brother and his girlfriend and I'm really looking forward to it, but that's if I ever get there because I'm really lost. Um, press this little switch to cross the road. Let's not get run over. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this little adventure. I'll let you know if I get there. And it's raining too. So we've come to a restaurant. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I made it now. Andy came and found me. I was very lost. Um, so we've come to a restaurant and it's called Fazenda. Yeah. And what you do is you have this little card, yeah? And when it's green, they just keep bringing food to you. And when it's red, you stop. So you turn it over and like literally, they just keep bringing meat and stuff to you and you can get whatever side you want. Like, guys, I recommend this place. I, I recommend it up to now. But I haven't eaten anything yet, but I, 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 still, I still recommend it because um, I like the idea of like the whole like little card situation. <laughs> Mum is in heaven. Wow. Yep, that would kill me. You guys are not having meat yet, but the sides. The sides. So good. And also they're so good for like dietary needs. This isn't an ad or anything. I, I like food. So does he. So that's it guys. I'm now back. I travel back on my own and it was really traumatic because my chair kept running out of battery. It's like, look, it's on the red. And because I was having to like use a lot of power to go up curbs, it kept running out mid curb. So then I would have to reverse, like turn the chair back on, reverse, and then try again, and it wasn't working, so then I'll have to use a different cup. It was awful. Then I went to Tesco, and I was so scared that my like chair was gonna run out in Tesco because they were only open for another like 10 minutes. So if it had run out, I would've been stuck in their shop, and they would've had to stay later. They would've hated me. But luckily, I made it back, um, but it kept slowing down. I overtook this group of people because they were going really slowly. 
So I overtook them, like asked them to move out the way and overtook them. And then I was like, fine, going all fast. And then my chair slowly started slowing down and it looked like I was doing that on purpose. And then they were suddenly like behind me and they had to overtake me again after I just overtook them. So yeah, that was, that wasn't great. But yeah, we're back now at the apartment. Mum's getting our meds. <laughs> I need them. She's, <laughs> she's had a di she's had a difficult day, and we've got like we've got three more days of like two days at the NEC, and then another day doing something extra special. I can't wait to show you guys that because I'm so excited. So that's it for today. If you want to see what we're gonna do tomorrow, which is we're going to the NEC at Nadex, and I'm going to climb a rock climbing wall. Can you believe it? I'm in a wheelchair, can't use my legs, have a hand like this, and I'm gonna to attempt to climb a rock climbing wall. No, you don't book it, you just go. So I'm also doing a dance class with um, Kate Stanforth, love her. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss my next video, which I think might be a, even more traumatic than today's. Why? <laughs> what have you got planned? Okay, I'm gonna make my mom climb the rock climbing me? wall. Anyway, bye guys, love you, bye. bye. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down